Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the clamshell door bearings or the pilot door bearings. They're on the EC-135 and the EC-145 Airbus helicopters. You get one that looks like this on your clamshell door, and this is with the doors off. Yeah, that bearing is, it's wore out pretty bad. You see the round part of the spherical bearing is dropped down way below the outside of the bearing. Here's another one. It just looks wrecked. With the clamshell doors installed, you can move it up and down like this, the, um, the door, and uh, that's pretty loose. I've seen these bearings wear out so bad where the gap on the top that you see here is not even there. Like the fitting for the door is dropped down. It's rubbing against the bearing fitting, which is part of the airframe. What do we need to do this job? Well, there's a kit to push out this claw ring bearing. And the part number for the kit is 117-24616 Whiskey 1. You're also going to need the bearing. And we're talking part number LN9367GE6N2. And the claw ring, 59-52 decimal 02-41. All right, we're going to quickly go over how to replace these bearings in the fittings. So if you want to just check out of this video after this, that's cool. It's about two and a half minutes how to replace the bearings. And then after that, I'm going to go over where to find the part numbers. And it's kind of complicated because there's way too many different serial number aircraft and too many effectivity. But anyway, we're going to review it. It's going to be a long video. Sorry about that. But anyway, there's the fitting with the spherical bearing. You get those two pieces right there. Those two. That's it. Put the big piece in. Through the spherical bearing, you put the other piece on top with the narrow side, narrow side down, right? Just like that. Put it up to your arbor press. If you have one, we don't. So I had to use a regular press, and you just press it out. Presses the bearing inside of that other piece, just like that. You see the inside the other piece right there? And then you just got to tap the old bearing out of that fitting, and no big deal, right? Clean up the, clean up the airframe fitting. So now... You have the same piece you used the first time, same two pieces, but you have this new piece. The, um, it's the big, huge spacer piece, but there's a, there's a concave side to this spacer. It's this one right here. You see it? And that goes inside of the other piece. That's when you're installing it. Okay, first step, put the new claw ring into the airframe fitting. Put that press tool inside of it with that spacer inside, okay? And the concave side has to be on the same side as the bearing facing up like it showed in that picture. Then you take the top piece, the same piece you used to press out the other bearing, you used to press this bearing into the claw ring. So we're not going to get crazy here, but we're just going to push it down because you can't do it by hand. Oh, I'm sorry, you got to put TP42 paste around the outside of that bearing. Press it in. Look, nice and shiny, flat up against the, the manufacturer side of the claw ring. What do you do next? All right, you get that, that other piece that has the, um, the weird shape to it. That cuts the claw ring, okay? You use the same bottom part with that big insert with the concave piece on the bottom. Then you use this piece to cut the claw ring. And if you line it up, or when you go in to put it on there, try to line up that part of the tool that cuts it with the space in the claw ring. It just looks better that way. Okay, then you put it up to the tool, you press it down, and... It, it makes a cut, but they're not totally flat yet, just like that. You see how it's cut there, but not pressed down? Cool. Next thing you got to do is press it down flat. You take that same tool, you turn it around, and you get that wide side of it, and you just press it down nice and snug, that wide side right there. Press it down, and then it looks like that or that. Cool. Done. Job's done. Where do you find the bearing in the claw ring? Well, in the EC-135 IPC, Illustrated Parts Catalog, it's in 53, which is fuselage. 53-35-0103 is where I find this one here. And for the aircraft I'm working on, it is a... If you look at the very top, there's 0101A, B, C, D, E, and F. And then underneath that is 0202A, B, C, D, E, and F. So you got to figure out which one of those bearing bracket for the cargo door that you're actually talking about. And I, don't, I couldn't find one for the pilot door. I don't think. I don't know. 
Anyway, it's the same part number, but the one I'm working on is 01 Delta. I click on 01D and it shows you the effectivity down on the bottom right. And it also falls under 02 Delta. Serial numbers in there. If you scroll down in the IPC to number 10, which is the bearing bracket, and you click that plus sign there, that expands it out and it shows you the parts that are part of that assembly. And the parts uh, that we're talking about are spherical bearing and the ring. So the, look, 30, 30A, and 30B are the is the ring, and they're they have the same base part number. What is it? 59 dash 52 decimal 02 dash 41. Look at 30A and 30, just 30. They have the same base part number, but they have more dashes and stuff. They come with like these spacers and all this, that, and the other thing. But anyway, the part number you need is this one right here, 30B. Spherical bearing is the same for all of them. And we're talking part number LN9367GE6N2. All right, and if you're going to do this job, you might as well replace the bolts and you might as well replace the washers and the nut. And this is a rabbit hole right here, so let's just go through it. All right, rear door assembly installation. Okay, we're in 52310101 alpha, and there's the bolt and the washers and the nut. But if we look at the screw... Um, it, it applies to 1A and 1B, so you got to scroll all the way to the top for 1A and 1B. 1A and 1B are a bunch of serial numbers of aircraft, but not the aircraft we're working on, which is weird. So anyway, how do you figure out what the right one is? You drop down to the next breakdown, the next picture, the next drawing. So we were in 0101 Alpha, now we go to 0101 B, Bravo, or Beta, whatever you want to say. And if you click... Uh, that blue right there, it says applicability, click that, and it gives you the drop down of all the serial numbers in the effectivity range, which are, honestly, we're talking a serial number 193 up to 1165, but a bunch of them are, are missing. They're on the other, they're on the other one, the other drawing, 01 alpha. Why? I have no idea. Like, honestly, I don't even know. So anyway, we look at that, um, and we're going to zoom, zoom into this picture a little bit closer. Look. There's the bolt. You're going to want to place these washers and that nut. They're all in this drawing. Part number for the bolt is DIN65268-06012 alpha. Anyway, I don't know what the difference is between the other one. I think it was an LN part number for the bolt on the other, the 01 alpha. Let's move on. Another quick thing we got to look at before we even think about changing this part is, well, when we take this fitting off on the airframe side, on the IPC and the maintenance manual, it shows that the bolts that hold the fitting onto the airframe that holds the bearing, it shows that there's nuts on the back side of that. I've never seen nuts on the back side of that. Okay, I've, cha I've changed a handful of these, uh, like, a, I mean, a fair amount. I don't know, 10 maybe, or 10 aircraft. And I've never seen these nuts. They all had nut plates. And I've also have never seen, what do they call this here? The supports. I don't know, they're like shims. I've never seen that. Not saying they don't exist. Um, I've just never seen it. Just a heads up. I almost forgot. When you install these fittings back onto the aircraft, it only goes on one way. You could flip it upside down and it will screw you up. Okay? If you look at where the bolts line up on the fitting compared to the bearing, the bearing is not in the middle. Okay? So if you install it 180 degrees or upside down or whatever, then your doors will be too far forward. Just a little bit, honestly. What is it, like a quarter inch? I'm not sure, but it'll be way too tight to shut your doors. And this was kindly explained to me before I screwed it up, which is nice. So that's just a heads up, very important thing. Also, if you're going to replace the pilot door uh, bushings, look, the pilot door, the fittings on the door, they're held on by, the bottom fittings held on by four screws, and the top fittings held on by two screws and two rivets. But look... They're painted over real nice with real pretty paint, and it's very difficult to take off, and you don't want to re-rivet this part. And the maintenance manual, what's it say right here? So we go to the maintenance manual for replacement of the spherical bearings and the door fittings. It says, in order to replace the spherical bearings clamped with claw rings, the door fittings must not be removed. I can understand on the, that on the pilot side, but on the clamshell doors, yeah, dude, definitely take them off. It's super easy, right? So if you're going to do the pilot doors, 
You're going to have to have like two guys hold the door in the right spot while you use your arbor press to, to pop these bearings out and to install the new ones. Okay. And now we're going to, we're, we're going to go over that real quick. All right. So how do we remove, remove the bearings? All right, right here. This is the only place I don't see it on the clamshell doors, but this is on replacement of spherical bearings in door fittings, pilot doors. This is 5211-008-7. And it says remove and install spherical bearings uh, effectivity with claw ring in accordance with AMM 20-00-002-23. Let's go over that real fast. All right, so we go over the instructions of how to replace these bearings in the claw ring, standard practices. That's what I meant. So we go over here. It's not difficult. The installed um, spherical bearing is like three or four pages, but we're just going to go through it. We're just going to go through how to do it, and it's legit. And we already talked about how to replace the bearings in the fittings earlier in the video. So we're not going to go over that again. We're just going to go over a couple other tips. And uh, I know this video is like going to be like 12, 13 minutes. Sorry about that. Cool. All right. So zoom forward. And now you have all of your bearings replaced in your fittings. And now you're going to put the fittings back on the aircraft. And we need to know a little bit more data and how to do that. So over that real quick. And you got to install the fitting. And like I said, replacement of the spherical bearings. Like I said, there's nut plates in there. There's not nuts. And it doesn't say anything about like um, pro seal or anything like that on this fitting. It goes onto the airframe and there's holes in the airframe here. So and I don't see there's any problems with putting some pro seal there. That's your call. Also, when you're going to install the doors onto the fitting again, the clamshell doors, there's these two washers right here, and they go inside. They go between the bearing and the door fitting, okay? And, yeah, no big deal, except for it is at an angle downward and backward. So if you drop that washer, if you drop one of those washers, it's going inside of this fitting here, and it won't fall out the backside. So you have to fish it out. So anyway, that sucks. Just a side note. Just a quick video on the clamshell door bushings. I mean, they wear out quite frequently, and it's not a catastrophic wear out. But, you know, what ends up happening is the doors don't close as good, and they don't fit as, as good as they should. And it's wore out, dude. It just ain't right. So take a look at it if you haven't in a while. Appreciate you guys tuning into the channel. Uh, I hope you found some value in the video. And if you did, maybe give me a like. And maybe you could share this with some of the other guys out there. Appreciate it again. And uh, see you guys next time. All right. Later.